Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. I've been wanting to cut firewood for the last couple of weeks, but where I put all my logs and my IBC totes is a mud hole, and I haven't been able to do much down there. So today, we are going to move all of that up here into a more dry area, and we're going to try to improve those IBC totes by cutting the plastic containers into lids for those totes. So right now I have the Artillion pallet fork frame on and I've got the front hoe bucket on it. So on my last stump grinding video, I had a bunch of rocks I needed to dig out in and around the stump and that front hoe bucket's fantastic for that. But today I've got three different tasks that will require me to use the Artillion frame in three different configurations to move my wood yard up here. So first, I'm gonna take the front hoe bucket off and I'm gonna put a receiver hitch on it and I'm gonna use that to go down and pick up the wood splitter. Then I'm going to put on the pallet forks and I'm gonna use that to bring all the totes up here. Then I'm gonna put on the grapple attachments and bring all the logs up here. Times like this make me appreciate how quick and easy it is to switch between the different artillion attachments. So let's get started. splitter up here so we're done with the receiver hitch now I want to put the forks on and see if we can get those totes modified to keep the wood dry
All right, so I got the firewood totes brought up and I've got the plastic liners brought up. Now I'm gonna cut them down and make lids out of them and get this wood covered so it stays dry. Last time I cut these with a grinder and that worked surprisingly well. I'm gonna try it now with the recip saw and we'll see how that works. I think the best part of the liner to use is the top with the lid on it. It's got these that you can grab a hold of. I might even use those to bungee the thing down. And so we'll cut this part off and see how that works. I think I preferred the grinder. Well, there's one. All right, so we already had these tops. And I used these bungee cords on one of my other businesses, so I already had those around and I get a pretty good deal on them. I think just putting this across here will keep at least keep the lid from blowing off in the wind. Clearly, this isn't going to keep the wood completely dry or ain't still going to hit it from the side, but it will keep snow from setting on here and just soaking in, and it's going to keep a percentage of the rain off of it. Wood we're selling to a customer will have only got rain on the outside part and should be more dry than if we'd left it uncovered. So this is a quick, easy fix that I think is worth it for anyone using IBC totes to store firewood. Now I need to get the grapple on the tractor, get all the logs brought down here, and start getting it ready to use as a wood yard. You'll notice, I'm sure, that it's almost as muddy over here as it is down there. The difference is, to get down there, I had to drive through that gate every trip, and I had a limited amount of room to turn around. Doing it up here, I only have to set these totes here once and then pick them up once. I'm gonna process the wood up on the area where we have the crushed rock, and then I'm gonna expand this out into crushed rock. But from looking at the way the water's setting right now, I'll probably first dig a trench and try to get it to drain on down to the pond before I put rock over this.
All right, so I'm still gonna try to get the rest of those totes cut down and put on here tonight, but I'm running out of daylight, so I wanted to go ahead and film the end of the video and tell you that I really appreciate anyone who takes the time to watch these videos. And in a minute, you'll see links to a couple more of our videos come on the screen right here, and I'll see you next time.